I tried skilled red in my Archfiend deck yet? No. I stopped doing the Archfiend deck actually this week and moved on to Harpies because I started running into a problem with my Archfiend deck. I was having a lot of fun with it, but it just felt like it got stuck. You know? I just didn't find a way to improve it anymore. And skilled red? Um, it was two cards you said. You said skilled red. Skilled red. And you said uh, power grasp. Spell power grasp. Let me see this. That's really good. The only thing with uh, skilled red, um, although he's good, um, it's about synergy. For me, he's a spellcaster. He doesn't really have any synergy with the rest of the deck. And same as Spell Power Grasp, I can't really use that with any other cards unless I have Skilled Red out. <coughs> and um, there's no real way of searching Skilled Red. I have no way of um, adding it to my hand. If I get Power Grasp too early, it's going to be stuck in my hand. While Skilled Red, I have to wait to draw that out. Um, even if I send it to the graveyard with um, Armageddon Knight, which I normally can draw pretty early, I'm not going to be able to benefit from this at all, you know? Um, so I'm not really sold on skilled red magician. If there was a bit a better way to search it out, that would be better for me. But um, I haven't tried it yet. Um, what I want to do is what I actually want to try is try getting this card in there. Uh, let's get rid of these two. Fiend griefing, and I also want to try and get uh, where's this card? Fiendish Rhino Warrior. These are two cards which I really want to try together. Um, Fiendish Grieving. You target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. Then you can send one Fiend from your deck to your graveyard. I think that's really, really great for graveyard control. Can really counter a lot of decks. I really like the use of that card. And besides, it's an extra version of Foolish Burial. Which is always great, good in this type of deck. Also, I've also been thinking about doing Fiendish Rhino Warrior. Fiendish Rhino Warrior has two effects. One, um, monsters you control except feed monsters you control except feed this rhino cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Good continuous effects for keeping your monsters alive. And then, um, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send one feed type monster from your deck to the graveyard except feed this rhino warrior. You can only use this effect once per turn. So, like, imagine playing this foolish burial, sending this to the graveyard, and sending another feed to the graveyard, maybe like trick archfiend or archfiend heiress. Really, really good way of filling your deck, dumping more monsters in your graveyard. I think it can work really, really well. The only problem I have with Phoenix Rhino is that I have no uses for it in my graveyard other than um, sending more to my graveyard. Good in the field, but I wouldn't really want to use my normal summon for it. But um, sending them to the graveyard, I have no real way of reviving it. I might have to try, say, doing like a Phoenix Rhino Turbo, similar to what you do with your Synchro deck. And maybe try some stuff like Jar of Averies to reshuffle the mechs of the deck and to keep drawing. And then keep on resending and redrawing. And um, keep maybe doing something like that. That could maybe kind of work with this as well. So the Archfiend deck I am maybe considering going back to. Um, I am considering improving it. I do think it's pretty solid. But um, I do think um, it can be improved somehow. If I were to add these in, I would actually get rid of those reasonings. Because reasoning is okay. Not amazing, but it's okay. And um, I would get rid... Archfiend Eccentric is good and versatile, but... Um, it's, 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 it's... It's here and there. I want to get rid of Maxi just for the time being. And I would run, love to run three of those. And then... Three of those. Then I would have to get something at, rid, rid of something in here. Um, I really like. I really like um, falling down. But if I get rid of eccentric and archery palace uh, or archery palabrith, um, there really isn't many targets to keep falling uh, down for. Maybe I'll get rid of the MSTs. Oops, what did I just get rid of? Oh crap, what did I just delete? Crap, let me 
redo this again. Also, I'll be trying to do an Archery Monarch style deck. Maybe making a hybrid of the two. I think Archery has benefit from a lot of Monarch cards, but I haven't really gotten around to sorting that one out yet. Let me see. Get rid of those again. Get rid of these. And then, uh, where's Rhino? And Griefin. Uh, maybe Jar. Maybe one Jar. I mean, it's a big monster count. Oh, I have three of those in here. I should get rid of them. I should get rid of one of that. Yeah, I don't really think Archery and Eccentric is too, too good. Plus, she doesn't get sent to the graveyard often if she uses her effect. She gets sent to the extra deck. And I have no way of getting her back at the extra deck. Uh, I do really love this deck though. I really, really do enjoy this deck. I think it's really, really quite quick. Maybe Sephiroth in this deck. Sephiroth, the Elite, for a quick rank 4 plays. I could send it with Armageddon Knight. Or maybe I could do uh, Instant Fusion. Although I don't really have the deck space for Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion could... with Northern. Because most of my monsters are level 3, so maybe that. Hi there, Sarah. How are you doing, man? Or, girl. Sorry. <laughs> Venice Beach, California. Ah, oh, that must be awesome. Is that SoCal or NorCal? Um. Hmm. I also I like the Monarch Stormforth, but I um I might give it up. I might get rid of Giant and I might get rid of Stormforth for the time being and try and run him without it because I think. Having too many combos in this deck weighs it down a bit too much. And I think I would like more monster removal in general. So maybe like Rageki. How many level 4s do I have? I only have 3 level 4s in this deck. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Ah, what am I missing from this deck? Let me think. I do love me some Supply Squad in Archfiend. It's been a while since I've run Supply Squad actually. I used to have it in my original build. Let me try Supply Squad and uh, thing again. Alright, it should be up any second now. Alright, stream should be back up. Uh, let me know if you guys can see it. If not, then... Ah. Yeah. I don't know how fast it's going to be with Griefing. 
I'm hoping it'd be quite quick though. What free supply? Do you really think the destruction? Do you really think the destruction is um, all that pre prevalent in this day and age? It seems like most decks don't really do monster destruction. They mostly just do. Um, they have removal in other forms of destruction these days. Um, just two copies of supply, maybe. But what time are you stopping the stream? Because I don't want to miss it. Uh, I have no idea, Frog. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I have no idea. This is all pretty random to me. If you gotta go, please feel free to go. Um... Yeah, maybe I could get in two copies of Supply Squad somehow. Oh, two copies of Jar. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, let me, uh... Free Supply, two Jar. Wow, are you... Okay, I trust you. I'm going to have to make some room for it though. I'll take out Dark Hole. Since I'm recycling. Um, I need to get rid of two more cards. <laughs> what two cards can I get rid of even? I like one copy of Tor. I like the copy of Bottomless. Um, I like the two copies of Archery and Raw. I'm looking at these Archery and Eccentrics as maybes. And I'm also looking at the Twin Twister as a maybe to get rid of. You think Palabyrinth? Palabyrinth is a bit of dead weight. Uh, don't really need Palabyrinth. Maybe a monster. Maybe one commander. I don't know if I really need all three copies of commander. No real point in running rank 6 though if I have commander. All the rank 8s really. You know what I'm considering doing? I'm considering taking out... You say ditch twin? Alright, I'll ditch the twins. I'm not sure I'm really comfortable with just the two eccentric though. I would like more. What do you think about Genesis or M Archfiend Emperor? Archfiend Emperor, I think, could say actually. If we're getting rid of. If we're getting rid of Twin Twister, I'll keep those two. You think Cavalry? If I'm keeping a commander, then yeah, I'll put cavalry back in. Because at least cavalry has a decent target. Utopic Future. I've never heard of that card before. Let me see what it is.
Cannot be destroyed by a battle and neither player takes any battle damage from attacks involving this card. Okay, I see that. At the end of the damage step, if this card battle an opponent's monster, you can take control of that opponent's monster until the end of the battle phase. If this face-up card on the field would be destroyed by a card effect, you can detach one XE material from this card instead. Utopic Future would be good if I could get it in. But I need two, um, two rank monsters. I uh, don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. See, now that I have um, all these fours in there, I've got five level four monsters, I would really like to get some more um, rank four plays. Rakeki for hole. Uh, I mean, it's possible, but... It's possible. I'll test it. There's no harm in testing it. Bombless is so good. I want to take it out, but it's so good. I really do like Archfiend's Roar in this deck as well. They have to stay. Yeah, I love Digosto. Um, the only thing with Digosto is I... I didn't have him in here because I didn't have any, many rank 4s, but now that I have more cards, maybe I will. I still need more special summoning for the rank 4s though, for me to add more. First turn, Armageddon is really, really good though. It could go. Um, I will take out... I will take out one... Armageddon for Mathematician because Mathematician can at least ditch uh, Phoenix Rhino Warrior and maybe one Armageddon, one, one Armageddon, one Mathematician, one Tour Guide True. Good advice. True. True. You don't want to clog in today's matter. I don't know. Deck's looking pretty solid to me. It's looking pretty solid. Um, we're down to three level four monsters. So rank fours really ain't going to happen really. It's, yeah, my petition's level three as well. So we can forget about instant you get fusion. I don't know, I feel this looks kinda of solid. Let me save this now. Um let's get rid of the Sephiroth. I think that's gonna be an empty dream for now. Why not storm forth? Oh come on stream.
Okay, stream should be back up by now. Um, do pop me a message if you can hear it. I will see it. Uh, two Zen mains and two bird is too much. It is too much. I do agree with you on that. Um, I would say one of each makes enough sense. Yeah, I do agree. I mean, I'm not sure how many rank plays I'm going to be really, be, really be making it now. Now that um, Archery and Palabrum has gone. Maybe some other rank 3s because there's so many level 3s in this deck. No, sorry, that's the wrong search. Rank 2, 2k beta, but why would I use a rank 2? I haven't got a rank 2. Oh, I haven't got any ways to make a rank 2 in this deck. Or did you mean rank 3? Let's see. I'm going to assume that you meant rank 3. So let's have a look. We've got Nightmare Shark. When this card is special summon, you can attach 1 level 3, blah, blah, blah. Once per turn, you can detach. Target 1. Nope, that's not it. Gridosaurus. When this target, when this monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, sends it to the grave. You can detach from blah, blah, blah. Inflict 1,000 damage. Phantom Knight. You can detach 1. Target 1 card you control. 1 card your opponent controls. Destroy them. That's good. That's really good. If this card is if this card is destroyed, you can target two Phantom Knights with the same level in your graveyard. Special summon them and increase the levels by one. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn. Nah. Um. Um. Detach. I like the destruction effect of that though. And then the Fire Firm. The Fire Firm is a two K beater which gains more attack. But I don't know about um, returns to the hand at the end of the battle. Not sure which one that is, uh, Bajon. Uh, Bajon, sorry. Um, Sean, you should play League of Legends. It may look boring, but it's great. I'm still fairly new as well. Frog, I'll tell you what, Frog. Frog, if you look on my channel, and this is totally a favour, you don't have to do it. But if you look on my channel, last week I uploaded a video called, for a game called Awesome Noughts. I love Awesome Noughts. It is one of my favourite games that I play right now. I'm going to go to my Steam page right now. I've played more than 206 hours of Awesome Noughts. I play pretty much every day because my Yuri is a boss. Awesome Noughts is a MOBA. If you have a look at Awesome Noughts, or you might know it already, and you think... That someone like me who loves awesome notes might enjoy League, I will give League a try. Because I know League is super popular. But um Awesome Notes is just so good. I just really, really love Awesome Notes. Um It's a pretty fun game too. Oh never mind. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, Bajon. That's fine. I got it. But uh, Phantom Knight Sword is good. At least that destroys something on the field. So it's a nice option. And I put the Fire Fin in there as well because if I want a Beat Stick, I can have a Beat Stick. More options, huh? Now, Rank 4s. Um, I think I might get rid of Abyss Dweller. Honor Arc seems pretty useful in most situations. Castell. Pretty useful in most situations. I'm not going to be really making many rank 4s in this deck, but I could try. Uh, rank 6, again, also doesn't look like I'm going to be making much of those. And rank 8. But I'll keep them for the time being. Because I don't know what else to replace them with. 
Can I see Norden again? When this card is special summoned, you can... T Do you know what? I, I've never ever actually used um, Abyss Dweller. I have never in my life summoned it. Yeah, it's good against my mouse, I guess so. Yeah, and all is no good to this deck, really. Yeah, and all is no good in here, really. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Sorry. Um, 600, 700 TF2. And now I play League instead. Mainly because I didn't play Tier 2 for a month and suddenly it was terrible. I might try playing League. Someone bought me Dota 2. I think, um, let me look at my Steam. Someone gifted it to me. Um, yeah, many, many years ago. They gifted it to me. In 2012, they gifted it to me. And I never, ever touched it. Oh, room for one more card in this deck. Let me see these rank threes again. Xe Rebellion. Let me see. You mean Dark Rebellion Dragon? I mean, I still have room for Dark Rebellion. Oh, Payne, you play League as well? How many people do you need on a team for league? And how long is a match normally? Five people a team, 35 to 50 minutes. How is matchmaking in um, League of Legends? Is matchmaking good? Rank 8, Hope. Uh, let me see. Hope. If I can spell properly. Hope, Harbinger, Dragon. Uh, two, la, 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 la. When a spell card or effect is activated, you can negate that effect, and if you do, attach that card to this card as XE material. When an opponent's monster clears an attack, you can attach from this card, change the attack target to this target, and perform damage calculation, so it stalls. If a face-up XE blah 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 is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one face-up XE monster you control, engage attack, blah blah blah. Ah, uh, I think I'll skip on that one. Again, I don't really think I'm going to be making too many level 8s with only two level 8 monsters in my deck. I mean, Felgrounds there because Felgrounds is very versatile. And then um, Galaxy Eyes is just makes... Um, Galaxy Eyes is there... I can't even remember why I put this in this deck. Take out the 4k one. Oh yeah, you're right, it does. You know what, guys? If you... If genuinely speaking, yeah, true say, if... If people... I will play any game that people want me to play as long as people are willing to um, 
play it with me and or to be honest with you I make YouTube videos if people are willing to watch videos on it then I'm down to put I'm down to record it too and play it so um, yeah I'm open to anything and everything to be honest with you I'll leave my ranks 8 at 2 monsters because I don't think I'm going to be making many rank 8s. And I think these two kind of cover everything. You think Hope? Uh, I'll put in Hope. But I really, really don't think I'm going to be able to use it. I would actually think I would rather have more rank 3s because I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rank uh, level 3 monsters. I'm going to have a skim read of the rank monsters, three monsters again, just to check, and I'll see. Um, Alright, I'll DL League and um, get that down today. Play Fallout 4, I would watch that. Um, I was thinking about buying Fallout 4 when it was all hype and whatnot. Uh, Fallout 4 is just so popular. And we're back. Okay, good. Um, yeah, okay. I like the suggestion of down the magician. I need to find more something to take out for it. I'm gonna keep the Viathan. I just like the idea of having a beat stick because um, it can just get out something. Take out the 3K rank eight Galaxy Ice Tachyon. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. And I'll put down it in. All right. I like this deck. It looks good. Thank you for all your help, Storm. I really do appreciate that. Do you want to test it out? Otherwise, I'm going to jump into Unranked and do some testing there. I had someone asking me where my Archfiend deck profile is, and I was like, dude, I'm, I'm not ready to sh share that deck with you. It is not there yet. Cool. Alright, I'll send you an invite, man. <laughs> 